Good morning, my friends. I'm so sorry I'm late. It is Thursday, July 30th. Ah, I slept a bit late. <laughs> and as a result, I'm wearing like makeup. So enjoy this face. This is a lip and an eyebrow and like some mascara and literally nothing else. And I just feel kind of like a monster. So enjoy my monstrosity. It's my gift to you. I hope that you are enjoying this hot weather here in Oregon. It's toasty, isn't it? Um, it's toasty roasty and we are just trying to stay cool. And I hope that you have got a way to stay cool. I hope that you've got maybe a pool to play in or a sprinkler to run through something in your life that is allowing you to get a little break from this heat. Um, we are going to have a wonderful warm up. I'm really excited about it. I've been thinking a lot about what I wanted to do today and I want to move ourselves. We're going to move it and shake it a little bit more than we have in the last couple warm ups. So I hope that you're ready for that. We're going to start with our noticing. We're going to, and as we're doing our noticing, we are going to, do a little bit of thinking and feeling, not just physically noticing, but also mentally noticing. So, so we're going to find our alignment, ears over shoulders, over hips, over feet, or over the bottom of your chair if you're sitting down. We're gonna find that alignment. And as we find that alignment, I want you to go ahead and go inside your body and I want you to go from the top of your head down to your toes. We're gonna check in the top of our head, take a deep breath. We're going to go to where our head, good morning. Oh my gosh, Sheila, you are so kind. We're going to go from the top of our head to where our skull attaches to our neck. And we're going to see if we can line that up and allow that to just kind of float there without tension. Move down your neck to your shoulders. Allow your neck to stay nice and flexible. Your shoulders are square and strong. Go from your shoulders through your chest cavity. Take a big deep breath and allow your rib cage to expand. Blow it out. Take a big deep breath. As you inhale, I want you to inhale as much as you can. So you're going to take a breath in literally as much air as you can possibly take in. Take that breath in. As you breathe in, do you encounter any resistance in your chest wall, in your intercostal muscles, or as we move further down into your lower abdomen, do you encounter any resistance with these muscles? If you do, I want you to feel extra ushy gushy squishy and just let that resistance melt away. Take another big deep breath, hand on your chest. Good morning, Lisa. Other hand on your lower abdomen. So we've got one hand on our chest plate, our other hand on our lower abdomen. We are going to just use these hands to steady and stabilize. We're going to continue to move through our trunk. Take a big deep breath. Search for resistance. And if you find it, I want you to melt it away. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Good morning, dear Brett. Now we're gonna move into our pelvis. I want you to gently move your pelvis back and forth, very gently. I want you to feel as you do so. The independent movement of your pelvis doesn't have to affect your rib cage or your lower abdomen. Those things can stay nice and squishy and soft as you move your pelvis back and forth. Take a deep breath. Now we go into our legs. I want you to go ahead and flex your quads and then release. Flex your quads, flex your glutes, release. We're going to use your glutes today. Flex those glutes, release. Flex your quads, release. Move through your knees. Allow your knees to feel nice and soft and flexible. Flex your calves if you can. And finally, go ahead one foot at a time. I can't show you this, but you're just going to jiggle your ankles. If you can, my ankle, other ankle all the way into your feet. And I want you to take an inhale. As you inhale, I want you to feel that relaxation travel all the way through 
into your feet and through your feet into the ground. Take that deep breath all the way through your feet to the ground. Blow that out. In. One more. In. We're going to do a little bit of humming. Tongue nice and relaxed lips together, jaw, hmm, nice and relaxed. And we're just going to do some Sorry, my internet's a little unstable this morning. We're just going to keep going. Keep going higher with your humming. We're going to shoo. We're going to go shoo. Big juicy SH. Shoo. Shoo. Just move the air. Shoo. We're just moving air. Drop your jaw. That's your ah, right? It's a triangle. Da, 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 da. Your tongue is going to do all the work. Let your jaw be still. Da, 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 da. 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 Nice hootie on side. We're gonna do our oh how I love to sing. We're gonna start down here. Oh how I love to sing. Oh how I love to sing. Legato. I don't care what it sounds like. I just want it to be legato. It can be bumpy or crackly. It can be stiff. It can be fuzzy. I love to sing. Oh, how I love to sing. Oops, but seek legato, yeah? Oh, how I love to sing. 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 I don't care what it sounds like. That's not what this is for. This is not for sounding like a goddess. This is for stretching, right? Stretch. Stretch. Yes, good job. We're stretching. You know, I'm sure that you have seen ballerinas in the dance studio as they work on the bar, right? And as they put their, I know Brett, you are a Mondo dancer, so you can identify with this. Put your legs on the bar and you do all your stretches. 
notice that on a, a, a concert performance stage, there is no bar, but the bar is there to facilitate the stretch, right? And to facilitate the technical work that informs the dancing. That's what this warm up is. We're stretching, we're using the bar. And the work that we do here is not meant for public consumption. So it kind of doesn't matter what it sounds like. What matters is that you're able to perform the exercises with agility, with bravery, with um, attempting the staccato, which we're going to do a staccato exercise now, attempting the legato, that you are that you are using musical ideas and, and you're, you're developing your technique um, of painting with that paintbrush that allows you to sing in a legato way or staccato way, marcato, whatever, all the different ways of approaching the use of your instrument. This is the testing ground. This is not what no one's going to listen to this and go, oh, mine got, get her to American Idol right now or whatever. Like that's not going to happen. So be brave, make those ugly sounds. They're ugly, but they're useful, right? That's my, thank you for coming to my TED talk. That's my lecture for today. Now, we're going to pant like puppies in the hot sunshine. <sighs> just let your tongue be floppy and loose in your mouth. And we're just going to go. <sighs> that was kind of a slow pant. Can we speed it up a little bit? Here we go. <sighs> That's hard. Okay. Now we're going to use, utilize that bubble and that, and that um, sparkle that we just it, injected it into our system with the panting. We're going to use that on a moving line. Okay, ready? E. Let's do a little bit of zombie noise, nice and relaxed. We're just going to allow the vocal folds to flutter loosely. This is a vocal fry that's sustained the lowest pitch you can make. Ready? When I, when I do it, uh, I have learned how to sing two pitches at once. So um, try it. Can you try that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's my secret superpower. Ready? Good. So when we do that, it encourages and in, invites the larynx to drop, right? Which feels nice after we do a super high exercise. Okay. Now we're going to, uh, what I wanted to do was just in my mind. It was just in my mind and then it left. How rude. We're going to articulate. Actually, we're going to go down. Flaw, 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 flaw. We're going to remember that as we descend and we go low, we want to continue past the point where you feel like you're not singing anymore. We want to go to that place where it's just a noise, where it's just a fry, where it's just 
um, kind of a metallic funky sound that might feel a little silly. Um, and we want to just sit there with relaxation, not pressure, but relaxation. Yeah. Fla, 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 fla. Ah, I remember what I wanted to do. As you descend, can you make a little more space? Where can that space be? Can it be in the back of your mouth? Can it be in the middle of your mouth? Flaw, 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 flaw. You might feel a little bit like a pipe organ. Flaw, 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 flaw. Yeah? Flaw, 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 flaw. Keep going. Can you be the pipe in the pipe organ? Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Yes, keep going. My hands were going so low. I had to move my hands all the way down there to that end of the piano. Um, super. Do a little Yonsai. Ah, we're going to do our Disney princess wake up sound. So we're going to, and we're going to do this with our arms. Remember, we're going to yawn like a Disney princess. Ready? Ah, that lives in a weird place in our mouth. In that, oh my gosh, place. So let's do that again. She's just waking up and there's like birds and cartoon animals and it's a whole thing. Um, super. I wanted to do our Mesa di Voce. That's going to be our final exercise for today, but we're going to take it way low to way high. And what I would like you to do, let's sip our beverages as we talk. What I would like you to do as we go from way low to way high on this exercise, whatever vowel works for you in the moment um, I will give some vowel suggestions, but you can do whatever vowel you want. And as we travel low to high, I want you to pay attention to what your voice is telling you you need. I want you to pay attention to if it, if it um, wants to be spacious or if it wants to be closed, how different does it feel for something that is super low versus something that's super high. I want you to pay attention to those modifications that you make. Um, it's valuable information. This is a great uh, data gathering tool, right? We love our beverages. Okay. So in for four, crescendo for four, decrescendo for four, right? In, two, three, and. In.
Where's your tongue? job. I don't know about you, but I love that exercise. And I love how as we go, it almost becomes meditative, right? We get into like a rhythm of sort of how much breath pressure to apply and then and then how much to release. And it just feels super good. And as we travel through the voice, and as we, um, you know, kind of go higher and then go lower, we, we kind of invite like... Um, we invite different sensations depending on where we are, you know, whether we're feeling here, feeling here, feeling here, whatever we're feeling. Uh, it's just a really super wonderful exploratory exercise that you can do that gives you kind of all the feels and really, really um, helps you fine tune your breath and fine tune your resonance. It's a, it's a super, super exercise. And I just feel, I don't know, it's like, it's like meditating. I feel incredibly mentally clear uh, when I'm doing that. It feels good. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. We'll definitely do that tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, actually, um, yeah, that I I am uh, going to the wake up warm up to. Um, I, gosh, what am I going to do tomorrow? I have uh, something at ten o'clock that I can't change. And so I think I'm either going to skip the wake up warm up tomorrow or do it at a different time. I might do it earlier. And so it will be on my page so you can find it and, um, and still do it at 10 o'clock. Um, if you like, but yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll do it at like nine o'clock. Um, so it'll still be there. It just, you join at 10, but if you join at nine, I will be there. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that I get to interact and see many of you today or tomorrow. I know that I get to see, pardon me, I get to see um, some of you guys today and that makes me super happy. I want you to take care of yourselves. I want you to drink lots of water in this heat and I hope that nothing but good things um, happen to you in the next couple days as we head towards the weekend. It's hot, hot, hot here in Oregon. Stay cool. All right, you guys. Mwah! All my love, and I will see you next time. Take care. Go practice. Now your voice is all good. Go practice.